In breaking news, the social security industry is preparing for a paradigm change. A sudden and dramatic improvement in the financial situation of millions of elderly and disabled Americans might transform their lives in an instant. Those who are most in need will see an increase in their income thanks to a new payment mechanism that the Social Security Administration has recently introduced. That isn't the only way this revolutionary change could affect regional economies, though. The country's healthcare system and even the dynamics within families. Keep watching as we break down this groundbreaking announcement that has politicians agog and recipients ecstatic. Greetings, everybody. Stimulus Updates is back, bringing you all the newest information on stimulus packages for the economy. I'm Ali, and I'm here today to tell you about some fantastic news. To ensure you never miss a beat on all things stimulus-related, be sure to subscribe and enable notifications before we jump into today's updates. Throughout these difficult times, we will do our best to keep you informed and give you the tools you need. Sure, I'll get right down to business. This story is shaking the country, and we're bringing it to you live. A shocking revelation has just come out of the Social Security Administration, and it will affect millions of Americans. We're in the midst of a Social Security overhaul that will alter people's lives nationwide. A long-awaited change to the way SSI is paid for is now here, according to the Social Security Administration. People who get ASTI benefits also receive SSI and the disability payments from Social Security. This isn't a little tweak, you guys. The consequences of proposing a radical change to the current system of benefit distribution are enormous. Let's dissect it. Supplemental monthly direct deposits are the reform's linchpin. On top of everything else, they get that. Now recipients will have additional funds sent directly to their bank accounts. These additional funds might cost anything from $100 to $300 monthly, according to first estimates. This might be the financial safety net that many elderly and handicapped people have been looking for. However, I must warn you that is not all. There will be a complete overhaul of the payment plan. The days of spreading out a single monthly payment over the course of three months are over. Regular, smaller deposits will be implemented under the new system. Beneficiaries will have a more consistent income throughout the month, which should help them better manage their finances. Hey, you. May be wondering who can get this life-altering bonus the response is succinct and effective. You can apply if you are currently receiving SSI or SSDI. This upgrade is automatically available to everyone who is already in the system. Keep in mind that each person's unique situation will determine the exact amount of the additional payment. The precise statistics will depend on a number of factors, including the present benefit amount, living condition, additional income sources, and even the state of domicile. Let's put this in context by thinking about the actual effects on seniors who are dependent on Supplemental Security Income SSI, many of guys whom are on fixed incomes that haven't kept up with the increasing costs of living. Potentially game-changing. Envision the weight lifted off your shoulders if you could afford to put food on the table and your prescriptions in one convenient package for SSD. D. For recipients who are already struggling to pay for things like recurring medical expenses, specialized equipment, and personal care, this extra help could be a lifesaver. However, things improve from here on out. To make sure these additional deposits won't hurt recipients in any other manner, the SSA has gone to extraordinary lengths. They have cleverly designed the scheme such that these extra payments will not be considered income for the purposes of evaluating eligibility for other state or federal aid programs. As a result, those in need can use this supplementary funding without worrying about cuts to other vital programs. It's a well-thought-out answer that aims to assist without causing additional issues. All right, let's discuss the schedule. This isn't just a political empty promise. Next month, the deployment will commence. To guarantee a seamless transition, the SSA has developed a staged strategy. The first phase, which will begin in a matter of weeks, will target SSI beneficiaries who are 65 and older. Phase 2 will include DSSI, grantees three months down the road, six months from now, at long last. With this expansion, the program will be able to serve all SSI beneficiaries younger than 65. It's a systematic way to fix problems and make sure the system is easy for everyone who benefits from it. Stay tuned for more exciting updates. Present recipients are exempt from taking any action in order to get these additional funds. Schedules and quantities of payments will be automatically adjusted by the SSA depending on their records. It's not complicated at all. Tailored to provide assistance while avoiding the introduction of new red tape. This reform, however, is fraught with controversy and possible problems, 
typical of any substantial policy shift. There are strong opinions on both sides of the issue regarding the reform's potential economic effects. There are many who believe that local economies would benefit greatly from a distribution of more funds to the elderly and people with disabilities. There may be a multiplier effect that helps businesses and communities all around the country since these groups spend a larger portion of their money on necessities. However, naysayers point to the potential repercussions of this increased expenditure in the future. Economists are divided on whether or not this will add to inflationary pressures which they say could reduce the benefit of the additional payouts. Some worry that this would further strain the already strapped social security system, casting doubt on its viability in the long run. Considering this shift in light of the larger discussion surrounding social security reform is essential. Although this new direct deposit mechanism is a big deal, it's not the whole story. Proponents insist on all-encompassing change, tackling concerns like the Social Security Trust Fund's long-term stability, revising the methodology for cost-of-living increases, and even increasing the limit on taxable income for Social Security contributions. The potential repercussions on different parts of society must be carefully considered as we go further into the consequences of this massive shift. For example, it may have a major effect on the healthcare sector. If beneficiaries had more money, they may use it for preventative care or to better manage chronic diseases. The long-term cost of healthcare could go down, and health outcomes could improve if this happens. This legislative change may also have an impact on the housing market, especially in places where there are a lot of elderly people and people with disabilities. With the extra money coming in, some recipients may be able to stay in their own homes for a longer period of time, which might reduce the number of seniors forced to move into nursing homes or assisted living facilities. As a result, this may influence the need for specific kinds of housing and social assistance. The video for today has come to a close. In the next video, I shall see all of you. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future uploads.